Hey, good day everybody. This is Aaron Gonzalez, a Office Server and Services MVP. Today I want to talk about the new and recent addition to Office 365. Uh, I'm talking about the forms. So today I'm going to do a very basic demo about the features available. I will create a very basic form that it can be used a, as a survey in order to show you the basic features of this new technology that now we have available. So what I will do, I will create a new customer satisfaction survey. So what you need to do is just go to forms.office.com and log in with your Office 365 credentials. Once you do that, you will see some options here at the top. So you can create a new quiz or a new form. So what I want to do is, is just create a very basic customer satisfaction survey. So I will use new form. And you will see that the process of creating the form is very straightforward, very simple, very nice, by the way. So the title of the form, it's going to be customer satisfaction survey. And then you can provide kind of a description of if you want. So I will, I will, I will provide something like that. recently. Basic title and description of the form. Then we can start adding the questions. And, and the four type of answers available are choice, text, rating, and date. So the first question that I have, it's going to be a choice field. The question is, do you feel that the issue has been resolved? Do you? And I will say that this is a yes and no answer. We can also provide um, additional features like required, so we just turn it on. And we can provide a subtitle to our question. So if we want to clarify or provide more, more context on the type of question that we have, we can use the subtitle. So let me add another question. I want to add a text field, like the, the text type of answer. And the question is, feel free to enter any comment about this issue, especially if you feel that the issue was not resolved. And because this is a text field, we can say that we want a kind of a longer answer. So we just enable this. We can make it required or not. So this is not going to be required. Now I'm going to I'm going to add a kind of a rating answer. This is going to be understanding of the problem and we are going to use a symbol so it can be five stars or a number so I prefer to use a number and we can set um, kind of a, the, the range of the answer one to five one to ten okay so I will use one to five and I will make a required field now, here we have the concept of adding a subti subtitle or a label. So let's do subtitle here. I don't. So the subtitle is kind of a please rate, please rate our service as it related to the issue. We'll copy this text. So our understanding of the problem related to the issue, one to five. Yeah, you know what? I will use the labels to describe that the number one, it's kind of a poor understanding of the problem and a good understanding of the problem. So we can actually say to the customer, uh, what are we expecting to get from this range of values? 
So let's add another rating question. And this is our overall responsiveness. We'll paste the subtitle. It's going to be a number. The label is going to be poor, good. Okay. It is required. And another question, rating. This question is going to be technical ability to address the issue. Again, I will paste my description number for good. Another question, our communication with you, our communication with you. It's going to be a simple for good. Mm -hmm. And just to finalize, I will add a kind of a choice field. And this is going to be, will you consider recommending our technical support? Support, technical support to others. Support services to others. This is going to be a yes and no. Um, so this is this is it. So this is it. This is my very basic customer survey form. So let's preview it. So as you can see here, we have the concept of a theme, the concept of a preview, and the concept of sharing. So let's preview the form. This is customer survey. Let me use and specify a theme. So I can specify maybe um, my colors that I like to use. And then we we share the form. So this is going to get interesting here because we can collect responses from people inside of my Office 365 tenant, inside of my organization, which is great, right? But I can make it kind of a anyone's, anyone with the link and response. So I can have the URL always available and just send the URL whenever I need feedback from my customer. So I will use this URL, okay? And I will copy the URL. And this is it. We can generate a QR code or embed the form or send it by email. So let's try it. So I will use another computer here. And this is it. This is our actual customer satisfaction survey running. And it's nice. It's good. For something that is very simple to build, this is great. Do you feel that the issue was resolved? Yes. Feel free to enter any comment. Uh, it was good. Uh, the overall responsiveness, it was an a four. Technical ability, great technical ability. Our communication with you it was some. Would you consider recommending? Yes. So let me submit and see what happens. It got submit. And that's it. Okay. So now let's see the experience of getting the answer. So notice in my survey, I have one response now. So if I click response, let's see what it's going to show us. It's going to show us the response that we have and then the actual answers. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we have. Print summary, delete all responses. We can open in Excel, your results. Yeah, the only kind of issue is that it's anonymous. So we don't know who submitted this. Maybe we shall add two more questions on what's your the customer name and maybe the issue text or the issue title. But I think this is good for something that is out of the box available in our tenant. So if I go back to my forms, then we have the forms that we created so we can remove it, copy, or delete it. Yeah. And the number of responses. So this is great. Uh, great technology available just for creating uh, quizzes in very basic forms. Thank you, Microsoft.